this is Politics NY with Sky. Schnepps Media is asking every single person running for New York City office this year three questions in three minutes. And right now I'm with Ray Sanchez, and he's running for New York City Council District 7. That's on the west side of Manhattan, a seat currently held by Mark Levine, who's running for Manhattan Borough President. So we're here with Ray, who just told us a lot about his background and experience. But I'm interested in knowing, Ray, what is it about you that makes you the best candidate in this competitive race, there's a lot of people running for Council District 7. So what is it about you that makes you the guy for the job? Awesome. And, and thank you for saying that because this is a job interview, right? We're all out here trying to make the best case why we should be the best person to do this job. And you can't legislate in a vacuum. And you have to have a wide knowledge of a lot of different things to affect legislative and policy goals. You can't, you know, I remember, I remember having having a, a lunch with a buddy of mine who was in-house counsel at the TLC, and we were talking about a bill, and he's like, this bill is not grounded in reality in terms of how this industry actually functions, right? So and if you really want to affect change and you really want to be effective in whether it's legislative, whether it's policy, whether it's uh, oversight of the city agencies, you got to know a lot about a lot of different things. And you know, my resume talks about that, again, whether it's banking, teaching, and I love the fact that I actually taught, right? Because I, you know, and that's why part of the reason why my 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 policy my platform is is tilted education because teaching is a performance art, and you know you want to talk education policy, but you've never taught. Um, so I'm really proud to say that I had those four semesters at at, at BMCC, uh, giving back to an organ to an institution that was essential for my family. My mom came here from Costa Rica as you know as an immigrant on a tourist visa overstayed. That's what we call documented in 2020, right, 2021. But it was getting her associates at, at LaGuardia Community College that was essential for our families upper mobility. And, you know, my mom didn't just talk to talk. She walked the walk. She was like, you're going to college. And, you know, she was struggling trying to read chemistry books in English. And, and but, you know, her, one of her proudest memories, and there's a picture on our website, uh, is her graduation at, at LaGuardia Community College. So... But yeah, but you know, a homegrown native New Yorker, born and raised. Let's go back to what you mentioned about commercial office space. I know that that's a problem, not just in your district, but all over Manhattan and maybe throughout the whole five boroughs. City. What, you know, that is something on everyone's mind. What is going to happen with all this office space for companies like JP Morgan who don't need all their employees in the office all the time? I would love to see a lot of that be pivoted to schools. Let's put schools, starting with secondary schools, high schools, work our way down, right? So that, you know, those people who do, who do go to the office, whether it's three times a week or five times a week, blended schedules, right? Let's get kids in office spaces, really convert schools, created with some of this space, coordinate it with, uh, the office, with the building owners so we can make really new, fun, new classroom space that's wired for broadband, has the best technology, and really prepare kids for the workforce. Right now, and you see this in the DCAS portfolio. DCAS is basically the city agency that is, you know, handles all the buildings and the portfolio of buildings, right? One of the one of the smart things I've seen is, like, basically DCAS has unloaded uh, buildings, uh, old school buildings, like on 145th between Broadway and Amsterdam, beautiful old school buildings into affordable and supportive housing, Right. You take those buildings out of the out of the DCAS portfolio, create new buildings, new school buildings and office space, turn it around. Hopefully it should be faster than what the school construction authority should, has done because it's already existing new office space. Right. Again, it's that domino effect. Right. If, if we activate something that's dormant or underused. Right. Move something into it. Then what do you repurpose? What was what is now vacant? because you activated something that was dormant, right? Having that kind of domino catalytic vision of, right, right, we can activate this, that'll free up that, which then will free up this. And now we're talking about having a revision for how we live after COVID. Because again, if city workers don't need to be here during the pandemic, then who does? Yes. Um, that's my thought process. That's how I think about these things, right? And, and again, that's because again, I've had, I've worked in so many different industries, right? Uh, one of the best experiences I had in government was being a pension trustee to New York City's pension system, $200 billion. When you're a trustee to $200 billion, people are really nice to you. Um, but the better part was like, was the education because you have to invest in every asset class, infrastructure, private equity, public equity, fixed income. Uh, and I'm proud to say that when I was in the, when I was a trustee, I wasn't just some dude collecting, taking up space, collecting dust, right? I worked with the unions to exit the hedge fund asset class because of poor performance, high returns, and predatory behavior in Puerto Rico. Three of the five pension funds no longer invest in hedge funds, 
because of our leadership. And we took that, we took those, that asset allocation and put it into infrastructure, right? Infrastructure investments is the green economy. That's yeah. $200 billion working, working more effectively for long-term, smarter, sustainable investments. Thank you. Thank you for your time and for all these thoughts on Schnapps Media's three questions in more than three minutes with Ray Sanchez. Thank you for being here on Politics NY with Sky.